Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So I'm going to be doing a um, collage today, mixed media collage, and I'm using a board from Arteza. Now this is a 12 by 12 canvas panel, which I'm going to be working on today. I've already done the sort of like base of the background. I just sewed it and then I've just stuck some book paper and some little bits of scrap paper on there, which I think looks really nice. Now I've got an assortment of papers here as well. I've got some which I have from the Friday freebie and these are all what I had in my stash. That's the Friday freebie ones here. These are just basically some bits from the Graphics Fairy. Now I did find this in my stash as well and I just think that's lovely. So I might pop that on as sort of like a focal point. Um, I've got some butterflies and some bits and pieces. These are all Friday freebie bits as well so I'm going to be using some of these I do like that so I'm going to be using some of those but I thought we'd just sort of like colour the background first so let's just see so not quite sure I might just go in with a little bit of acrylic paint today I'm just going to sort of just go with it I think today just add a little bit of pinkies and that to this not quite sure what I'm going to be doing but I think this pink is nice because if she's in it she's got this beautiful pink dress so I thought I'd pick out the pink in that as well like that now I've got a little bit of a darker pink here which we can always lighten up afterwards because we do send, tend to um, paint and then cover it up and then stick things on and cover them up that's the nice thing about collage if you don't like it you can always cover it up and start again which is nice so let's just stick these little bits on now I've got my card here let me just see if I can just scrape some of this across oops there we go let's pop that in there I'm gonna get nice and messy today got to make sure I'm in view I should mark it really shouldn't I okay so that's a bit of that let me just quickly dry that off there we go now let's go in now this is the Lindy's um, they're called the Starburst squirts and this is Canadian bacon blush so these are lovely they're all nice and sparkly I'm sure you've seen these before so let's just add a little bit of this to it. Let's just go. So it's got a little bit of sparkle in it. Try and build up some nice colour on here. Now I've also got a little bit of, little bit of blue in there. dry that off in a minute perfect now I want to try and get a little bit more depth into this picture so I'm going to go round I've got some um, these are just my watercolour pens now just get this down. just go round the edges a little bit of these gone 
to my water brush really. Just build up, just build up some bit too, it's not strong enough. We need a, let's just have one of these. Try and add a, lots of different things to this one today, I think. If we can, let's have a little bit more. I'm not sure which bits I will be covering up, but we will just try and get some layers into this a little bit. for now I think. Let's dry, let's quickly dry this little bit. Now let's go in with a little bit of gesso just to bring that colour down. Now again I'm using, look I've got my nice big new pot of gesso. It's the Galleria one which is lovely. It's a really nice gesso. So let's just Go in with a little bit and then I'm going to cover this up bits and pieces with some of the pattern paper lovely background isn't it to start okay so again I'm going to quickly dry that perfect just wash my brush I'm not very good at washing brushes I keep forgetting now I think that looks really lovely then we've got this butterfly as well so I'm just going to pop some just a little bit of sort of colour on the back. I think I might tear this down. I'm going to pop it on the edge there. So I just start adding, adding bits of this onto here. Just a little bit of collage. Stick these down. Some nice little flowery bits, I think. Little square. Let's go down here.
Perfect. I'm going to pop her on. Not yet. I'll wait a little bit until I've done the background a little bit more. But I do like that. Right, let me get some tissue and get some little bit of gesso again over this. sort of blend it in a little bit. Where's my card gone? What can I do with that? Oh, there it is, right in front of me. Fabulous. Okay, I shall leave that. Right, let's just give that a quick dry. Okay, perfect. Now, I think I might go in with a little bit more of this blue because I do like that. Let's find a brush. Oh, I like this blue. I could do with it being tiny, tiny bit darker. Now I've got some brown. I'm not quite sure on these because these are. I haven't got my. Let me put this in the palette. I haven't got my um, acrylic paints out for a while. So let's just see if we've got any in here. It's a little bit. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the blue. So I've got my little palette here. I don't know whether you can see that. See if we can just get this blue a tiny bit, tiny bit darker. Look, that's quite nice, isn't it? Of like a turquoisey blue now, I think. Move it down here. Okay, I'm liking that so far. So I'm just going to leave that for five minutes just to dry naturally so I'm not keep putting the um, heat gun on it. So I will be two seconds. Okay, so that's nice and dry now. So I have cleaned my brushes. 
so they're all nice and clean and this is lovely and dry so I'm going to add a few little bits to it now where's the picture so we pop her on there I think that looks really lovely now she's got this sort of bluey colour which I want to add into here as well I'm not quite sure where but we can have little bits going on let's take her off and we'll just add some of this lovely I don't know what's the colour oh periwinkle blue which is a lovely colour isn't it I want to try my hardest and keep this one sort of as light as possible without putting we'll go in with some um of this in a bit just to put it down which is the um, acrylic ink which is the raw umber which is nice let's just pop a little bit of this in okay oh what I needed to get out actually was my watercolor brush which I forgot let's pop this over here I love these watercolours, I think they are just beautiful, so easy to use and I love this pen, watercolour brush I mean, and this is quite pale which is nice isn't it, Just a tiny bit darker in there. Let's see what we've got. Let's pop this one in. Now this one is blueberry blue. Shall we just go in? This is a tiny bit darker, isn't it? in a minute let's pop these back in the pot or maybe we'll have a little bit of this in here it's quite nice isn't it No point in putting any there because I'm going to cover that up. Okay, should we pop a little bit of oh, some stencils on here? Let's pop that on there like that. Now I've got this one which is the lovely sort of harlequin -y sort of one which might look nice in sort of certain areas, right now. Let's see, what should we do? I've got a sponge, so maybe I will sponge a little bit of gesso through it, what do you think? I think that will work. Where should we have a little bit down here? Maybe I should use a little bit of texture paint. Oh, no, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oops. Looks 
nice over the blue. Just see that that looks nice. A little bit down here. Okay, that's okay. Now I also have this lovely one. So do we want to add a little bit of this? Shall I pop a little bit up here? Let's try it with the gesso and then I can always go over it. It's okay, not fabulous. Maybe we'll have a bit so it comes out of behind the picture of the girl. Let's see, just a little bit on here. It's a bit smudgy, let's pop that over there. Let me just quickly dry this. Okay, I am liking this. Now where's my little picture here? No, oh, I didn't really put that in the right place. Just about to see it. Now I like that. Yeah, I'll put that in the wrong place, but that's okay. It's a bit smudgy anyway. What should we do? Put her there. I do have this which I printed out as well which is live for the moment you can't put into words which I think will look nice too don't you I did have a butterfly let's see what we can do with this one I had two but I think what would you think if Oh, I like that. We could do that, couldn't we? Let me get a pair of scissors. It's my scissors. Let's cut his little. Let's cut his little head off. Oh, I like that. Let's give her some wings. Yes, let's pop that over there. That looks good, doesn't it? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I shall give her some wings in a minute. Let's finish this off a little bit. Let's pop a little bit of this raw umber. Let's pop it in there. A little bit of water. Rub it on and take it off, especially on sort of like the gessoy bits.
Okay, I do like that. Let's pop her back on. So she's going to sit in there. That's my little brown one gone. Now I think I'm going to have to use a little bit more of the brown acrylic on here. I can get it out. There we go. Oopsie daisy. That out there. Another painting where I'm very quiet, sorry. So let's just sort of go around the edge, sorry. Some of these textures, I don't know whether you can actually see them, um, but some of the textures coming through are really, really nice. I will, like I normally do, pop a close-up at the end of the video of certain areas because I think they do look lovely. Make sure that my camera was making a funny noise again. I don't know whether you could hear it. Let me turn this around this way. Bit of water in there. Now I've got this. No, I like this one. This is the Looney Tunes teal. Let's add just a little bit of this. I'm going to pop it in the pot. I might do a little, few little flicky bits on here as well.
Oops, wrong colour. Now I've mixed it with the raw umber, but that's okay, it's not too bad. Okay, right, I'm going to give this a minute, I'm going to have a look at it, and then I'm going to see where else I need to go. So, two minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I think I've got it a little bit darker than I want to, so I'm going to come in, back in, with a little bit more of the pink. And even the darker pink. Just to... Just line it up in certain areas, I think, where well, I've darkened it just a bit too much. a little bit more of the blue back in so we can back in with, with my card just get a little bit more. so this one's got lots of layers going on in this one hasn't it which is all a learning curve I think Wipe a little bit of that paint off.
Okay, I'm just going to quickly dry this a little bit and then we will go back in. I'm not quite sure what colour, but I might do it just a little bit of gesso over there. Okay, two sets. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, bit of gesso, in which oh, I've already got some on here. Yes, sort of. I'm sort of like a dry brush over it. Do you like this? I'm just gonna go. Okay, let's have a look. So that's going to go over there. I'm going to do a couple of sort of splatters if I can, if it's going to work. Okay, a bit of runny gesso. Water some gesso down. Let's see. Do it before I add the picture. I make a big mess everywhere. Love it. Okay. Quickly dry this. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave that for a minute to dry because it's very, very wet and I want them to sort of like stay um, white and that I don't want to sort of mop them up, but it would take a little while for them to dry. So I will be back. Okay, so I think they are nearly dry. It's a little bit wet on there. Let's just take that off. That's okay. So I'm going to stick this on now. I have just cut that just a little bit more so it sort of like fits onto sort of like the top of her shoulder. So let's stick this down. Pop a little bit of this. Straight. Oh my gosh, I think I've got gesso on there.
Okay. That was lucky. Oops. Oh gosh, I've got paint everywhere now. Let's hope this is just on the back. Just wipe that off. What a mess. I do make a big mess, don't I? Let's just put this on the back. So we're going to have nice pink wings otherwise, aren't we? Let's sit you down on top, just like that. Look at that. Oh, I do like that. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Oops. Is that one straight? I think so. Oh, I think that looks really lovely. Okay, that's on. That's dry. Let's go round the outside. Shall we just go round with a little bit of the brown watercolour pencil for a minute? Let's see. A little bit darker on the outside, I think. Just to frame it. Oh, I do like that. It looks really pretty, doesn't it? I'll pop a little bit of blue under there. Get my brush. Okay, sorry, my battery went again. Silly thing. Okay, let's just add a little bit of blue under here. So add a little bit of this pink around here. I do like this. I think it's really pretty. I'm loving this blue. I do like the blue. It adds a nice 
I like this turquoisey colour as well. I'm not quite sure how I got that now. But yes, I do like this. Okay, so I need right around the outside, but I do need to go around that again, I think, with my ink pad. Where's my ink pad? Before I put the words on, let's just see. Just a little bit of distress ink around the edge. Just to sort of frame it. Okay, that's lovely. I think that's a really pretty one today. Okay, now do we need anything else on here? Let's see. A bit wonky in there, aren't I? So, let me find the words that I were gonna, was going to put on it. Okay, so I'm going to put this where should we put that? Should we put it at the bottom or should we put it at the top? No, I think it's the bottom. I do have this, which I just love. I don't think I need it on there. I don't want too much on there. Right, I'm going to stick this down. Now, I need a brush which doesn't have any... any paint or anything on it. Cause this is just going to make a big mess. Let's use my big one. I know that there's no paint on here. I do like that. Right, let's just quickly go round that. Shall I go round that with brown? I think I had better, hadn't I? Mm, it's not really coming out, is it? Don't go in there, or shall I just quickly, just a little bit of my stibulo. Oops. 
much water left in here. I think I must have used it all up. That's had lots of bits and pieces doing to it. I think it's took quite a long time today, didn't it? But I do like this. I think it's really, really pretty. I might have a little play with it later just to see if I need to add anything else to it. But for now, I think I'm going to just leave it like that. I can always come back and have a little play. Can't I? So there we go. Okay guys, I just want to show you, I have gone around the edges of the um, collage papers with my Stibilo. Um, and I think it looks really, really nice. I do prefer it because it brings out the actual collage. Um, so that's what I did afterwards. So I thought I would just quickly show you because I am loving it. I really, really do. So um, I hope you do too. And um, thanks again for joining me. Please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.